asking Jim to come and help me with something. And uh, let's see if we can get inside our Jits mind. Just grab a seat. And I want you to pretend there's no one out there. Can you use your imagination for that? What, what do you want to do? It's just you and me. Just you and me. They don't exist. Okay? A, a circle, a square, a star, a cross, and a cogwheel. Now, I just want you to look at these very, very carefully and just slowly start to gather in your mind. If, if, you, had to, if you just had to pick one randomly, don't, don't be tricky. Just if you had to pick one randomly, what would you pick? Now, do not answer. Did you choose the star? Yes. Okay, he chose the star. Is that correct? Give him a clap. That's a one in five chance of me getting that right. Right here is a single piece of paper. Lift it up, look underneath it, look, look underneath it, and I want you to pick up that single piece of paper. Hold it up, open it up. This is a bit scary, I can't remember. And there's the star. Give him a clap. Well done. Now, now you know, I thought, I'm enjoying this. I thought I'd go a little bit further. And I'm going to, is that, a, can you just make sure that is a blank piece of paper? There's nothing on that paper? Yeah. You sure? Sure. Uh, just, to, just to go a little bit further, I'm going to make a star appear. You ready? Yes. I want you to watch very, very carefully. One, watch carefully. Two, here we go on three, three. Okay, now, we didn't quite make the star appear on the piece of paper, but where's my magic wand gone? Where's the, where's the wand I just had in my hand? Uh, it's behind my ear, you see, because that's what a magician does. While a magician is getting you to focus on one thing, they are doing something else. So I'm going one, two, three. And he's looking down there. No star, but the wand disappears. To be creative, our job is to look where we need to look and not where society forces you to look. So that, we didn't quite get to make a star on this, did we? But we will just tear it up because I don't like it when my magic tricks don't completely work. And we'll tear it up in little pieces of paper and then with that tear up, I'm going to poke it down into my hand and I want you to watch it very, very carefully as I, as I poke it down, okay? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to blow on it. Let's come over here for these people. Okay, I want you to blow on it very, very carefully. I'll get my magic wand out. Where's my magic wand? Okay, there's the wand, the one that was in my ear, and we're gonna blow on it very, very carefully. This is the one we tore up, ready? Okay, yuck. All right, well, I'm gonna have to clean that later on. Okay, I want you to open the tissue, the blank tissue that I just tore up. I just tore up a blank tissue, and now, thanks to Ajit's magical skills, not mine, his magical skills, I want you to open that in front of everyone nice and big, please. This is, the, this is the tissue we tore up that had nothing on it. Open it up, nice and big, and please show it to the audience. Give him a clap. <laughs> magic, what does a magician do? And let me try and explain to you how magic works. You see, what we need to do is we need to learn to look for the unexpected, unlikely events. Again, a magician is using distraction, they're using different techniques, they're loading up your brain. Have you ever been pickpocketed? The reason, the way a pickpocket works is by loading you up with more than five pieces of information. Once your brain is loaded up with more than five things, with more than five pieces of information, you are a pickpocket's dream. When it comes to creative thinking, we are so busy focusing on all the small tasks around us in the office that once we load up with five things on our brain from a neuroscientific perspective, there is no more bandwidth in our brain. We have no ability to think outside the box, to look at different solutions, to try and find problems because the five immediate things in front of us are killing our creativity. So we have to learn to actively focus our attention. If any of you got to see how I did that magic trick, it was because you were focusing where I did not want you to focus. If you don't know how I did that magic trick, it's simply because you were focusing where I wanted you to focus. Now to be creative, we have to focus outside where other people want us to focus. And then you blow your competition out of the water. Because while everyone else is looking for a solution here, 
You can start looking for solutions out here if you can wire your brain from a neuroscience perspective to be creative. And you can't do it if you've loaded up more than five things in your brain. Now, I'm feeling so confident at the moment that I'm going to try a magic trick on all of you. Are we okay with that? But I'm going to try a very simple magic trick. And if you know how this is done, or you have worked it out because you are now thinking outside the box, away from where I'm forcing you to think, this is a very easy trick. But if you are still focusing where I want you to focus, you'll be amazed. Are we ready? The whole group, let's just have a bit of a stretch. The whole group, a magic trick on everyone. I'm going to put up six cards and I'm going to make your chosen card disappear. Put your hand up if your card disappeared. Hands up, come on. Look around. How did I do it? Don't answer. Because if you know, it's very easy. If you don't know, you're still stuck inside where I'm forcing you to think. But if you can get outside where I'm forcing you and look elsewhere, it's a very easy trick. And that's what the heart of creative thinking is about. You have got to get outside where everyone else is telling you to look. And you did it better as a kindergarten kid than you have as an adult. It's scary, isn't it? Did you choose the star? You did choose the star. Why? <laughs> you know what? I've got to do this two more times today, and if I'm sick, you can take over. Because I think you are... Except you, I, do, I need you need to dog. face this way, yeah. because you've got to put it in this exactly. here so they can't see. Because there's no one over there, you see. All right, so look. Oh, dear, look, this piece of tissue is already... And she has drawn another star. Thank you very much. You can take that. And Now, don't answer anything, but do tell me if you chose the star. Yes. You chose the star. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. You can keep this as a little momento. Could you hold no. that up and show it out show it out to everyone, please? The star. star. Did you show everyone? Show everyone. Show everyone. <laughs> Did you choose the star? Yes. You chose the star. <laughs> There's a piece of paper under the tablecloth. Oh, wow. Show the camera. <laughs> this is magic. This is magic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>